In this tutorial I'll show you how to make a speech bubble which you can use to create still images for comics or you can use to make animations. Delete the default cube, add mesh circle. Here are the properties for the circle. I'm going to double the number of vertices and double it again to 128. And set the radius to be two blender units and the fill type to be n-gon. I'm going to change the view to the top view. I'm going to S to scale, Y for the Y direction, 0.5 and enter. Zooming in with the mouse wheel, I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select the bottom vertice, turn off the 3D manipulator widget. I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 vertices to the right. Enable proportional editing. Press G to grab and adjust the size of the proportional editing to three vertices either side. Drag out a pointer. Disable proportional editing. Press G to grab and move the point to about there. Press A on the keyboard twice to select all. In the mesh menu, faces, inset faces. Drag to the right on the thickness value to increase the inset and to the left to decrease it. I'm going to set the value to 0 0.07. Drag to show the material button. Click the material button. Add new material, which I'm going to call black, and set the diffuse color to be black. Go into face select mode, select the central face, click the add new material slot button, add a new material, which I'm going to call white, and set the diffuse color to be white. and assign the new color to the selected face. To add text to the bubble, go into object mode. Add text. To edit the text, go into edit mode. Delete the default text. Type in your text. Press enter to start a new line. When you've finished entering text, go back into object mode. I'm going to click object data button for the text and I'm going to adjust two settings. I'm going to center the text and I'm going to drag on the size value to adjust its size and I'm going to press G to grab to adjust its position and I'm going to click the material button, click the browse material button and set the material to be black. In the object properties of the text I'm going to adjust the Z value so that the text is just in front of the bubble. I'm going to make the bubble the parent of the text. Before I do that, I'm going to remove any rotation or scale. So in the object menu, I'm going to apply scale. And I'm going to give the bubble a more meaningful name. Now I'm going to select the text and make the bubble its parent. And if I press G to grab, wherever the bubble goes, the text follows. To put the pointer on the opposite side, we can flip the bubble. Press S to scale, X for X direction, minus 1 and enter. But we get mirror writing, so I'm going to do Control Z to undo that. To avoid the mirror writing, select the text and remove the bubble as its parent. Press delete and enter. Now select the bubble, S x minus 1 and enter. To reparent the text, before we do that, go to the object menu, apply scale, select the text and select the bubble as its parent. We still have a problem. If I select the bubble and change the shading to textured, we only get an outline. To fix the problem, go into edit mode, Press A on the keyboard twice to select all faces. In the mesh menu, normals, flip normals. 
back into object mode and we have our flipped bubble. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished speech bubble and the flipped bubble to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.